Coach breaks the scoring record last night. Just right. uh, yeah, when you when you look back at last night, you know how special was that moment getting getting to watch that happen and yeah. getting to see something you know broken that you know had stood for for so so long here right. in St. Francis. No, it's just a. Um, testament to how hard Cush works you know uh, we've been saying it and I've been consistent um, over his time here here at St. Francis like he's in the gym every single day and it's just uh, um, for him to come back for his fifth year and, and spend that much time here at St. Francis and then to actually break that record a 31 year old record held by Brett Norris Brett's a, an unbelievable guy I talked to him yesterday and I know he sent Cush a a message after the game and and uh, he's a high school coach over by Columbus Ohio but uh, you know he couldn't be happier for Kush and and uh, so it, that was kind of cool you know how it all played out and uh, for him to get that three-point play and, and knock it down on the the free throw was pretty special could you imagine almost a more Antoine Cushingberry like way to, to, to get it to <laughs> right no doubt you know he just uh, uh, said it over and over and over how tough he is what a kind of competitor He's a winner. He's won every every level he's been at, and and uh, he's had some really really good seasons and great games for us. So, and, and like I said, it all comes back to how hard he works and how much time he puts in. For for you, when you recruited him, you know, five six years ago now, did you ever think that something like this would be possible for a guy like him? Who Cush even said he was more of a defensive guy in high school right. than a scorer. Yeah, and I, it was you know kind of crazy early on his freshman year really didn't get a lot of time until the second half of the season his freshman year and then he started to play him and Jalen you know we kind of brought both of those guys in thinking Jalen could start right away and play and um, you know it was for both of them they didn't really get on the court until the second half of the season but that's the that's the thing both of them just you know Kush just put his head down continue to work continue to battle and practice didn't let it affect him um, especially his work ethic and, and found his way on the court and then once he found it, man, you just couldn't take him off. You know, he competes at a high level. He, like I said, he wants to win. He'll do whatever it takes to win a game, whether it's on the offensive end or the defensive end. And he was kind of like that his first first half of the, or the second half of his freshman year. It's more, you know, I'm going to get it done defensively. I'm going to create for my teammates. And then, you know, he just really developed his offensive game and turned into a high level scorer. 2,280 points is a yeah, lot of yeah. points to, to score in a career. Uh, you played here, you coached here. Did you ever think that this was going to be a, a record that was broken? Yeah, I mean, records are always made to be broken, right? So, you know, you, you, we've had some really, really good players and um, here. And obviously, you know, guys, I think back on guys like Dejavon Sawyer Davis and Bry Bryce Linup and, and guys like that that have scored a, a ton of points. And, and Day was really here for three years and um, just scored just under 2,000 points in three years. So. Um, but yeah, I mean, there'll, there'll be other players that come along that breaks Cush, Cush's record as, as well too, but it's pretty special for him. Like I said, just to see somebody work as hard as he has um, outside of practice and on his game and, and so passionate about it and so competitive to see him break that record is pretty, pretty special. You know, they, they often say, you know, sometimes your best players you know, are, are your best leaders and, and everything yeah. like that. What have you seen, how have you seen Cush evolve, you know, in this time here from you know, uh, you know that, that freshman that didn't play a whole heck right. of a lot to, to what he is now. I would say right now, you know, that's that's probably been Cush's biggest jump as far as his game, his leadership. And I, he's been a tremendous leader for us this year. And he's really had to grow in that area. And he, um, we've had some long conversations about that. And I think that's what's, you know, made this season so special is his attitude, his, um, you know, attitude towards his teammates and, and how he's led them has been uh, been terrific this year. When all is said and done, obviously he's going to leave here as a couple-time All-American, right. uh, the program's all-time leading scorer, one of the best to ever do it. He's led you know, this this program to uh, a Final Four. He's led it to, right. to conference tournaments. Uh, what, do you, what do you hope he, he's remembered as uh, you know, during his time as a career? Well, I just think just a true competitor, ultimate competitor. Um, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't, I haven't had anybody here that has worked as hard as he has. He's earned everything that that's coming his way right now with uh, individual accolades and those things. And I know, you know, most important for him is wins and and uh, he's talking about the national tournament and trying to find a way to get our team back there this year and and those things. So um, it's been it's been an incredible journey. Obviously, it's one that. Um, once it's over with, we'll definitely be um, sad to see him leave and, and what he's meant to our, our basketball program. Because right now, you I mean you 
you talk about St. Francis basketball and St. Francis hoops, Cush comes to mind. And, and uh, you know, like I said, and it always comes back to me as far as how competitive he is, how much he wants to win, and what, what he'll do to help us be successful.